and welcome to a new part of the show where we sort your diet out. Today we're looking at courgette or zucchinis as the American call them, fries. This is something new I've just discovered. I find potatoes these days, potatoes, white flour, it all makes me too, too bloated, too heavy, and it's not great to that glycemic index either. So have a little go at these, see what you think. Courgettes and zucchinis are a really good source of hydration for a start. You've got vitamin A, B and C and a good source of fiber. And it takes less than 20 minutes to make. See what you reckon. So first off, you want to get your courgette, give it a wash, and then you can top and tail it with a nice sharp knife. Get those cut off, get them chucked to one side because we won't be using them again. In regards to size, you're looking for a little bit bigger than French fries. So I would cut a courgette in half, slice down the middle again, and then once you've done that, you can divide each of those quarters into four different fries. You could go bigger, but they may not cook as nice. So there's a lot of moisture in courgette, so that may end up a little bit soggy, in fact. I think this is a good size. You test out. Because of the moisture in them, it's recommended to salt them before you cook them. I would go one step further and salt them and actually leave them salted for a little bit to get rid of some of that moisture. Put them in a colander, leave them in the sink and just cover with a plate or a chopping board. Once that's done, put your oven on 220 and wait for that to warm up while you do the rest of your prep. In terms of ingredients, you want 25 grams of ground almonds and 15 grams of Parmesan cheese. Get that all measured out, get it all nicely weighed, and then you can mix it all together in your bowl. I've also chosen to add a little bit of oregano. You can decide on the amount of this you like because it can be quite a strong tasting herb. I've also added paprika. You could also go for something like cayenne, pepper, or even maybe chili powder. I've used quite small bowls for this. Um, I think it's easy to mix it all together, and especially when it gets to coating the courgettes, I think this is a lot easier. Previously, I used quite a big bowl and I ended up having quite a lot of trouble with it. As I get all of those mixed together in one bowl, and then we can start on our coating. Once you've got that sorted, you just need to beat one egg, because you're going to need that to make sure your coating sticks to your courgettes. Get that one egg put out and get it all beaten up. Again, I'd use a small bowl because I think it's a little bit easier to dip the courgettes in. Once that's all sorted, you're ready to sweat your courgettes. Put some baking paper on a baking tray. If you do it without the paper, it might stick to the tray, which is the problem I had first time around because the Parmesan, it melts and it all sticks. Then when you peel it off, all the coating comes away with it. So get some baking paper put down. Get your courgettes from the sink if you have been letting them um, absorb some salt. Also put a, tr a plate under that colander so it doesn't drip everywhere. I've used tongs for this because then it stops all the coating, ideally sticking to your fingers. You dip the courgette in the egg yolk, smush it around a little bit, and then do the same with it in the coating. You want to get it reasonably coated, as you can see, I'm doffing it around in here, and then just place it on the baking tray. Try to make sure they're not all touching each other, because again, that'll make them stick and they won't cook as evenly. I mentioned previously that I used bigger bowls first time around, and this time I've used quite small, shallow bowls. You can see it's still a little bit difficult to dip them in, and especially with the coating, um, to get it evenly done because of the length of courgettes. If anyone's got a better idea of doing this, I'd love to know how you do it. I'm thinking maybe even using a plastic bag next time, a little freezer bag, and then just all mixing it all together, and that might make it an easier coat. Problem with this is you end up with loads of it sticking on your tongs and if you use your fingers it really gets stuck to you and just gets everywhere. As a result it gets a bit uneven or as you see later on actually run out of mixture a little bit. As you can see at the end here I've started to run out of egg yolk and the mixture which has made it quite difficult. And this is what I mean with the bowls idea. So if anyone has got a solution I'd love to hear it. If your coating is a bit uneven just do it by hand. Take it out, sprinkle it over a little bit and then it should be good to go. Then, once your oven's heated up, 
you can pop them in on the bottom shelf. Don't put them right at the top because it might burn and the inside will still be too moist. Once that's done, I'd advise just rinsing off your bowls because if this stuff sticks to it, it's really difficult. So you just give them a quick rinse. You'll earn some brownie points as well for whoever's kitchen it is. And once that's done, you've got 10 to 15 minutes before they cook. Go play a bit of Battlefront. So here we go, I love Greedo. So we're running out here, and I think we'll go around the back, and I keep getting mixed up with the sprint and the duck button, because I've not played this in a while. And normally, I think you want to stick with Vader, so you can use lightsaber, and he can protect you a bit. So there he is, he's like, come on, man, let's be teammates, let's do this. And you go through here, it's nice and dark, you see, and you do these old little sensors things, you can see. And this guy just runs off in a different direction, and some guy chucks a grenade at me, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go get this guy. Let's go get this guy, and then use little sensors, it's always good, this is sneaky. Sneaky, he's got some people there. Oh, there's Leia in Leia's face. Lost and away, gonna get oh, his solo. So here we go, keep shooting headshots, keep ducking. Watch this, watch this jinkin. Look at that jinkin. And then now, I'm all right here, chuck a grenade. Yeah, and here we go. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, okay, all right, okay, we've got a pistol now. We can still do this, still get a few points here. Don't forget, 10, 15 minutes are in there, absolutely fine. You finish the game with this, no problem. Here comes Skywalker. Uh, okay, so there's Skywalker. Don't worry, we got this. We got this still. Still plenty of time. Same again. Dash in. Get this done quick. Don't want that. Those are rubbish. No one likes those. I want the big um, bazooka thing. It's all about bazookas. Trust me. Bazookas and courgette fries. This is it. This is happening. This is it. This is the bazooka thing. Smart rocket. Get it. Probably now, just turn the whole thing off. I said, I'd advise about 15 minutes. You wanna make sure they're, they're nice and brown when you take them out. They'll be done both sides because of the baking papers. So you don't have to worry about turning them. So there you have it, crispy courgette zucchini fries. Mmm, great. Have I convinced you to try a new type of healthy vegetable fry? Maybe not, but I'm sure we're courgette in there.